Arthur, come on back here. Please. I'm here. I'm here. All right. I, I want you to be very yes. succinctly, yes, if sure. that's like possible. For me. Okay. I want you to tell our viewing audience really exactly why it is important for them to get set up and not to wait to do it now and how it e how easy it is too. Well, first of all, you just have to go and set up your profile. You go right to LinkedIn. And you're going to set up your username and password. But I want to talk about what's really in it for you. If you're in sales and marketing or if you have something to offer, isn't it difficult sometimes to just try to make a call call to a call call somebody to get them to return your call? The beauty about LinkedIn is it totally breaks down those barriers. And we're going to talk about groups right now. And you're going to find when you learn how to use groups in LinkedIn, it completely levels the playing field in terms of your ability to access people you would have never been able to access in just the traditional way that we do business development, for example. And what about people's interests? How does that get linked into LinkedIn? Well, for example, uh, let's say groups, which I'm going to talk about. There are thousands of groups on LinkedIn, and those groups are based on people's business interests. For example, there are groups for healthcare. There are groups for people interested in search optimization. There are groups for people who are interested in marketing. There are geographic groups. Horse racing? We'll check. I'll check for you. Okay. But the bottom line is it short circuits people's ability to get right to the people that they want to deal with. And that's the power of groups. So one of the first things you're going to do once you get your profile set up, you're going to start looking at the groups you want to be in. Sounds good to me. Right on. Groups. Very important. Okay. All right. Here we go. Whoa. Uh, last time I needed a chiropractic oh my adjustment. Here we go. Powerful Mac Groups. It's a great place to network with people with similar interests regarding business, whether it's other consultants, people that you may have worked with before. The LinkedIn profile in groups, essentially, LinkedIn lets you participate in up to 50 groups. Uh, these happen to be my groups here. If you'll see for me, I actually have a strong emphasis on focusing on groups in uh, the healthcare uh, international healthcare and uh, medical tourism sector. There are 50 different groups. In order to participate in a group, first thing you want to do is find out what groups exist. As I said, there are thousands of groups. In the upper right-hand corner here, you'll notice you could search in LinkedIn by people, jobs, you could search answers, search your inbox, or search groups. If I were to type in social media marketing and click a search on groups, you would see that there are hundreds of groups that show up in that search result, actually 509 to be exact. So I might, might want to drill down a little bit and look at a way to maybe scale that down. But for now, these are some of the groups. Now, if I were to click on, uh, let's say, this one right here, join this group, social media marketing, the process is the same for any group. Uh, you want to decide if you're going to receive communication from them at this email address or a different email address. If you want the daily digest which, or the weekly, I always prefer the weekly so I don't get bombarded every day. If you want them to send you group announcements, usually that's not more than once a week. And if you want to allow members of this group to send me a message directly. And then you would click join group and you would wait for confirmation from the a person who's the head or administrator of that group to say, yes, you're invited. So that's how you join a group. You are allowed a maximum of 50 groups. I can't join any more right now, as you can see, I'm in 50. I've shared with you a little bit about my groups. If I were to uh, click on just one of my groups, let's say China Healthcare Group, you'll notice the discussions, which are the recent activity. And you could click in those and post to those any news people have posted up and latest news. Many people post news up there. So that gives you sort of a bird's eye view. You could also start to start a discussion yourself or what we would might call a thread in that group. And the way these groups are designed, you could look at the discussions that are going on. You could then look at the news that's been uh, shared within the group if there's any jobs that have been offered or created. And you can even create subgroups out of uh, groups right now, too, which is one of the newer features of LinkedIn. And as far as more goes, it will show you the members of each of that group. 
And if you look here, these are uh, some of the members of the group, which is pretty interesting. You could start clicking on their profiles to learn more about them. To the right, you also see how many people in their network. That gives you an idea of exactly how many people are in the group along with each individual's network. You could search for names or keywords to find specific members of this group too. And there's an, adva an advanced uh, function for that also. Now in groups, I think they're powerful because when you post something in a group, whether it's in a current discussion or you create a new one, it's a good way to get connected with people in that group. So once again, you have subgroups. You also have jobs in groups if people are posting jobs. In fact, it says your group now has a job board. Fantastic. So we could look at that. Uh, I go back to news and look at uh, the news that's been posted. You can also submit your own articles. Look at recently submitted latest news. Uh, you can review any discussions going on in overview. And as you can see, these are my 50 groups off to the right right here. Uh, under group profile, I'll click on group profile, and it will share with you, this is a community for people that shares an interest in Chinese healthcare. And this really goes through all different groups. Who's the owner of that group? Uh, who's one of the managers of that group? And that's typical for any group uh, that you'll see. And then if you want to go back to just groups in general, you also can organize, and I'll show you this in a moment, you could edit the order of your groups. Just click on that, and it lets me, let's see, we'll say display, well, 10 is the max. But here you can essentially display the order of your different groups. Groups are a very uh, powerful way to connect with people, ask a lot of questions, post responses, don't be a taker, be a giver too. And I will tell you that there is not one type of group that probably does not exist on LinkedIn. There's every kind of group uh, imaginable. And once again, your groups will show up uh, just to the side here. So that's a little bit about groups. I encourage you to go in and uh, check that out and, and get some groups set up also.